I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. And this is the area where we do all the editing for Dan's Fishing Tales and Shoot and Plank. And I'm indoors because the weather just isn't all that great. And I, I basically I just want to talk to you about the Browning 1911-22, which we've done a video on in the past uh, with the gray, which is my favorite because it has the fiber optic sights. But I got its little brother now, the compact. I want to show you some of this. First off, this is a replica of a full-size 1911. It's one of the Umarex BB pistols. Very, very nice BB pistol, but that, again, that's on another video, so we're not going to go into that. What I use in this for is to show you the difference in size. Now, here's the 1911-22 that I have. This is the full-size one that Browning has, and you can see the difference in how that is on... Uh, size wise this is 85 percent of a full size 1911 now i'll show you the difference with the little compact this is the compact version it's the same size otherwise as you can see but there's a difference in the length of the barrel and not a whole lot about an inch uh weight wise yeah, a little bit of difference. This is only about two ounces. This is the thing about 15 ounces on this one. Plus, it's also has the rail because I wanted a rail on this to put like a, a a laser sight or a light or something like that if I wanted it. But I haven't found one that I like on it yet. This one's without, and I wanted to keep it compact that way because you can conceal carry a 22. And that will be another article and video altogether. We're not even going to go into that right now. Uh, this is a great little shooting piece for someone that uh, has troubles racking their load or uh, shooting something that has a higher recoil. It's just a very, very nice little gun. I have not fired this one yet. I have fired this. That's why I know what it will do. But what I'm going to do is we're going to fire this eventually in another video and compare the accuracy of it. I, I really feel that they're going to be about the same. And we'll fire it with the same ammunition, the same distance, the whole works. Now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the features. As you can see, I told you they're gray, and they are. Why they're a different color? I really don't know. This is a darker gray. They both have the fiber optic sights, and that's what I like are those fiber optic sights. It's got a 10 round magazine, just like that one has. Comes back real easy on your slide, uh, your hammer. Of course, you never want to dry fire a rim fire because you're going to damage the firing pin in it. Uh, like I said, it's very easy to pull back. That is good because that's what this is made for. Somebody that might have some arthritis problems. I, I was trying to teach a lady to use one of my others that uh, was a 380. she could not pull the slide back. She has arthritis really bad. She also has neuropathy. She was having a terrible time with it and she even had a little bit of problem with this. I finally told her, I think maybe you better get a revolver because she was having problems loading. Loading on these really is quite simple. You've got a slide which is really nice. You got that. It's not like your other type, like your 3A's, 9 millimeters or whatever, where you're putting them in like this. This should just pull it down, put your ammo in, and away you go. It has the, uh, like I said, the release is right here, that little button. It's got your lock for here, right there, just like any normal one. And it's got a safety. I'll cock it again. Right here. You got your safety, ambidextrous safety. You can do it either side, and it will not fire. You've also got a safety back here for when you do fire. Another safety feature that you got, put it all the way down. It's got a half cock right there. Now it's not going to fire here. You have to have your hand on here. You have to have pulled all the way back. That's the only way you're going to fire that thing. So you got a lot of safety features running in this little gun, too. And like I said, I, I really like it. It's nice, lightweight. I'm anxious to shoot it and see what happens, but I wanted to let you know and take a good look at it because, uh, like I said, I, I really like this, this piece. It, it's nice, lightweight, like I said, and I, I think it's just going to be fantastic. Those fiber optic sights are really the 
as they say the cats meow yep that's what they are they are great so until next time get out shoot safe and have a great day of blinking